Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, would be much appreciated. It'll only take you a second. Thank you. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is what happens when Amazon decides to discount your book. Now, when you agree to publish your book with Amazon, you agree to the terms that include their right to adjust the price of your book, how they see fit. But it can be a bit of a shocker. You could have your book up there for $9.99, say, and then have a little look at it one day and find that it's $7.99. And if you're not familiar with the process, then, you know, it can be a, it can be a heart stopper because you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, that $3 or three pound three euro difference is um it's our my royalty's gone so you can go into a bit of a bit of a panic about it but it's absolutely nothing to worry about and it doesn't affect your royalties whatsoever amazon simply discounts the price out of their earnings out of what they have put to one side and in some cases they can actually reduce the price. So they're actually making a loss. They're basically paying you to publish your book. Well, you know, a bit of an exaggeration, but um, yeah, they can actually take a bit of a loss at it. And when I say a loss, I mean, they're not making the money they would have done um, in the printing, in the uh, distribution, in uh, everything that goes into getting your book out there to the customer. So the first thing to think of is, is it a bad thing? Look, it can look bad sometimes. In, in your mind, you could be thinking, well, hang on a minute. My customers are going to hate this. I've just sold 50 bucks this month, this book at $9.99. And they've talk, told someone else about my book. And they've gone on and told their friends it was only $7.99. So, yeah, you can understand why that might upset someone. But it really isn't. A problem the best thing you can do is when you see when you see your book discounted is if you've got an email list if you've got a um, I mean a discount can last hours a discount can last days weeks months there's no set time it's all down to Amazon and what they feel maybe their algorithm algorithms feel is um, the best thing for your book and for them it's a good thing in most cases but the thing to do if you have an email list to your customers your regular customers let them know there's a discount on now um, it's out of your hands amazon has discounted the book and um, it's a good time to get that book because you don't know how long that discount's going to last if you've got social media if you've got any other way of contacting all your customers normally if you want to if you usually say look i've got a new book released um, let them all know. Let them all know that it's now on discount, but you don't know for how long. So snap it up. Amazon may decide that your book's doing really well, and it may be a bestseller. So it may feel that it will do even better um, if they reduce the price. So, and again, it doesn't affect you. So hey, but it may do. And they're not going to if they've not had um, if they've not tested this theory out before. Um, and it's just a bit of a gamble from Amazon whether or not it will it will be a positive thing. Then yeah, that would be a problem. But Amazon's been doing this for for years and years and years and years. If it had been a bad thing for you and for Amazon, they wouldn't do it. Simple as that. So um, yeah, Amazon could just say, look, you know, let let's boost this. It's doing really well. Let's get this out. Let's boost this. Let's get it up to a. I don't know, 5,000 reviews or so many thousand sales a month or whatever else. Um, because when we do return back to the um, original retail price that you set in the price and rights section of the, uh, when you went on KDP, you know, it might still do well because it's got a lot more reviews, it's got a lot more sales, um, and, it's, and it's got a lot more reach. Now, they may also say that or think that, um, well, it's not doing well at all. So maybe we'll reduce it to give it a bit of a push. But that's a, that's a good thing too. So, you know, there's nothing bad about 
in my view, you know, for you, uh, some of you, it may be a bad thing. I don't know. But for me, if ever I see a book discounted, first thing I do is I check all my other books um, in the Author Central, or I just type in whatever that um, uh, pseudonym is in the search bar on Amazon and uh, see what my books are, see what the discount is, see if any other books have got discounts on them and uh, have a little look at them and see how they're doing. And don't ever worry about the one, the bit that you see underneath where it says um, five books available uh, used or um, some other books new and you can click on them links. That's just other people selling your book and it's not usually somebody, you know, um, that's read your book and wants to try to sell it again. On Amazon, it's usually a business, a uh, publisher, an online publisher that's selling your book. And so that's why you'll find sometimes find your book on eBay and things like that. You know, it's um, it's quite a strange one, really. But the more your book gets out there, the better. Amazon could also think that uh, if for those people that have actually had their book, books printed themselves and not through KDP, Amazon could have a huge stock that's not going anywhere and it's taking up space and it's been there for a long time and it's not doing you any good. It's not doing them any good. So they discount the book. That's another uh, reason why they may do it. And again, that's not a bad thing uh, because it doesn't affect royalties. Now, on rare occasions, the book could actually be priced so low by Amazon that you couldn't buy an author copy for that price. And you'll be tempted to say, well, okay, I'm going to buy a thousand copies of that now and then sell it on a market or sell it through a website, sell it somewhere else. And I think there is a limit on that. I think it, last time I heard it was eight for the author to actually buy copies uh, when the price has been reduced. Now, I don't know whether that's at a time or um, so you could buy eight one day, eight another day, eight another. I don't know whether that's the case. I don't even know whether that's still the case. So I don't know how many copies you could buy, but if they reduce the price so low that you could make a profit on it, uh, if you buy them up, buy a thousand copies and get yourself into the bestseller ranking at the same time, I don't know how that works. Um, and I don't think it's worth the risk. You could try to contact Amazon and ask them for some advice on that. But you know, it, like I say, it's a, it's a tricky one, a dicky one. You know, so you don't really want to put your your account at risk in any way whatsoever. If you can get the go ahead from Amazon in an email and you've got the proof of that email that they said, yeah, you can buy as many as you want, then yeah, you, you're free to go, aren't you? But otherwise, I think twice. So yeah, the bottom line is shout it from the rooftops. If it's got a reduction on it, let everybody know that it's out of your hands. Amazon has reduced the price uh, because it's doing so well and uh, now's the time to grab a copy and unfortunately for those that have bought the copy at the full price there's nothing you can do it's out of your hands amazon's dealt with it and uh, yeah just uh, go with it now i've heard of other people to are saying that their prices have gone up so you know your 9.99 if that's what your book's retailing at has gone up to 14.99 now i don't know how how real that is now there was a time only only months ago when i noticed that one of my books had sold for almost twice i got almost twice the royalties for one sale on one book one day and i thought well who's that have i put the wrong i put it wrong have i put my uh, pricing wrong in a, another country and not really understood the exchange rates so I looked at it, I went to my um, price and rights page, and uh, which is the page, the last page when you publish your book on KDP. And I noticed that everything had been set at 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And that's UK pounds. And I was selling it for 5 99 So I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, well, what's happened there? Has Amazon done this? I don't know what it was. So I ended up having to check all of my books um, and their pricing to figure out what went wrong. Has, anybody, has someone been into my account? Has someone changed everything? And thankfully, it was just that one that had gone up to 
um, ten pounds, not nine ninety nine or anything like that. Just ten pounds um, for everything, for for all the way through um, that it could before changing, before staying the same on all the countries that it couldn't change to ten. And uh, you know, because they have a they have a, a limit, don't they? They have a, a lower limit for your book pricing. So it's basically Europe for me in the US, the Australia. So it was like, um, as Amazon done it. Well, I, I kind of ruled that out, really. Um, I, I don't think it would show like that. I think the pricing you set in your rights and say, or sales and rights page stays the same, regardless of what Amazon does with your pricing. So I don't think Amazon put my book price up, but I did feel bad for the customer because they paid nearly double um, what I was selling it for. But thankfully I managed to get in there and check it. And uh, thankfully I didn't get a bad review for it. So yeah, I mean, the thing is, I don't know of anybody. I'd love to hear any comments that where Amazon has actually put the pricing up and how it's affected you. So if, if that's happened to you, put it in the comments. In fact, anything about the pricing, put it in the comments, even ask questions. Let's see if we can uh, work together on it. But yeah, so otherwise, other than that, if uh, you find your book reduced, like I say, shout it from the roof and um, let everybody know and go with it. It's not a bad thing at all, in my view.